Replacing a roof is a huge investment and not something you want to undertake without a bit of research first. So today we'll discuss all the necessary components of a weatherproof and sturdy roof. John Walters from Roof for Roof is here to tell us exactly what to expect when re-roofing your home. But before we get there, tell us about the name. What does Roof for Roof mean? For every roof that we install for a paying customer or client, Roof for Roof provides free emergency roofing services to families in need that can't afford to do the work. Well, that is an outstanding contribution because roofing a home is a big project. So tell us, where do we start? What's the first step? Well, I always start with a roof inspection. When a customer calls and wants to get an estimate on their roof, the first thing I do is ask them if I can get into the attic space. Just like building a house, before you can build the structure, you have to have a firm foundation. Well, it's the same thing with the roof. The framing looks good. The decking material looks sound. On this particular house, I don't think we're going to need to change any plywood because it all looks pretty good. And the rest of the inspection occurs outdoors, correct? That's right. All right, let's go check it out. So now that we're outdoors, what are you looking for inspection-wise? I'm looking for visual signs of a possible problem with the roof. Rippling shingles, the corners of the shingles may be turned up. Those are indications of a moisture problem. And those are all indicators that you actually need to replace the whole thing? Correct. OK, so walk us through that. Um, give us an overview of the entire process. Typically, most of the major manufacturers want to see a five-part system installed. It's not just tar paper and shingles. They want to see ice and water shield. They want to see a minimum of a 15-pound felt paper. Some people call it construction or tar paper. A quality shingle needs to be used. Other than the shingles, we're looking for ventilation. And then on top of a ridge vent, they want to see a cap shingle, not just a standard three-tab shingle. So when we're choosing a contractor, what are some of the questions we should be asking that person? You want to find out from your contractor, is he certified by the major manufacturers to install their products? What that means is he's gone through training. He's gone to the manufacturer's site and undergone a training process and certification. Second most important thing is to make sure that the contractor carries roofer's insurance. A standard liability policy is not enough in a roofing application. How long have they been in business? Do they have a permanent location? Do they have a showroom? In the event that you need to have some recourse if something doesn't go well or doesn't go right on the job, it's nice to know that you can go talk to a person at a specific location. And of course, you always want to ask for some referrals from existing customers that have had work done by that contractor. OK, so once the job is done, how does the homeowner take care of the roof? What about maintenance? After the first year, you want to visually inspect the roof and make sure that no shingles have blown off, that there's no obvious signs of damage. And then after that, about every six to eight months, just to make sure that visually everything looks sound. So as you can see, there are a lot of things to consider when re-roofing a home. One important part of roof maintenance is gutter maintenance. If water overflows your gutters, it can find its way underneath the shingles, seep into the roof deck, and all the way down into your home. Now this is usually caused by gutters that are clogged with leaves or debris. One product that can help with that is called the gutter brush. It sits right inside the gutter, blocks any debris from building up so that your gutters and your downspout stay clear. Rain drains right off the roof and your investment is safe. 